from Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. The death of Amy Winehouse has left a lot of people asking why she didn't get more help for the fierce addictions that plagued her short and very troubled life. In fact, she did say yes, yes, yes to drug rehabilitation on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, though, rehab proved to be a revolving door that never led the 27-year-old singer to the right place. Now, Winehouse was certainly not alone in her high-profile on-again, off-again battle with substance abuse. From Lindsay Lohan to Robert Downey Jr., it seems that Hollywood types are constantly checking in, checking out of treatment centers. But requiring multiple attempts to beat an addiction is not just a star phenomenon. It happens to many non-celebrity addicts as well. Kirk Burness is the director of the Novus Medical Detox Center in Pasco County. We say welcome to Good Day Tampa Bay. Thank you very much. Okay, detox, I imagine that's the first step on your road to recovery. You got to get the, the drugs, the, the uh, uh, chemicals out of your body. Absolutely. Then the person is in good shape to learn the uh, the things that they need to do to handle the stress in life, to handle the, uh, the factors that got them into the trouble in the first place. I imagine that, not that it's easy, but the detox part is, is, uh, is easier than the, the rehab, which is up here, right? Two different levels. Mm -hmm. You have to get your body in the right shape to then be able to emotionally and psychologically handle the stresses. Now, relapse is not, on, is not a, a rare thing. I mean, that's I don't want to say common among addicts, but it does happen, doesn't it? Uh, it happens all too often. In, in actual fact, I think it's very safe to say that the vast majority of people that do become addicted are not able to get off of whatever they're addicted to on their own uh, after many attempts, numbers of attempts. Um, it's not set in stone. You can get off. You can get actually uh, clean. Um, why is it so hard? What is it the actual physical uh, addiction, the chemical drive to get it back in your body? Well, the body naturally produces chemistry that uh, affects our emotions and uh, validates survival actions like eating, laughing, uh, having sex, uh, achieving something great at work. And it's just unfortunate that narcotics mimic the same a uh, cozy, warm feeling of satisfaction, and the body just slides into preferring that after a while. And if you take it away, it's like taking away the survival uh, instinct to eat or survive, and the body goes a little crazy. It, it needs it. Some, <clears throat> many, are, are able to be clean for their entire lives. What do they do differently than those who are unsuccessful? What does it take to get clean for good? It's, it's quite a statement. Um, a lot of people, um, are not able to do that just by going to a detox and going to a rehab. They slide back into their own um, old habits. They hang out with their old friends. And in doing so, they're going to get into trouble. So there really is a whole list. I could go down. I could probably talk for an hour on this subject. But they do need to uh, surround themselves with a good support system, friends, family, co-workers that will support their, their new lifestyle and, and the, uh, you know, the rehab process. They, they need to change their lifestyle, though. They need to recreate their life. Go in a different direction Absolutely. and stay away from those people who may be trying to influence you. Kirk, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll have you. It, it is a big topic. Very you know? big topic. <laughs> so, um, lifelong commitment, actually. Uh, we have a link to the Novus Detox Center online at myfoxtampabay.com. Just look under our Scene on TV section. Again, Kirk, thank you very much for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. With the economy.